Hey guys, welcome to the Heart of David. Hope you guys are doing well today, considering uh, all the stuff that's happening all over the world. Um, don't let it get to you. That's what I say. It's not easy, but you can um, you can phase it out, right? Some of you, I guess, can't in some situations, but the topic today is. Um, Take the good Take the good when you can in your life. And uh, you know, I usually don't like talking about my pain disorders and that type of stuff. Some videos you'll see that. But the reality is my life consists of it and is one reason I made this channel. Um, God can use me as a tool to show you that if I can do it, so can you. If a guy with autism who has the most painful disorders on the planet and injuries all over his body can do it, so can you. Take the good when you can get it. I don't, uh, I used to think of ideas for videos, and when I say the most on the planet, do you get, I can name them if you don't believe me what they are. I don't like talking about them, but I like making my point. There's a reason why this very video is take the good when you can. Um, I have a disease of my spine. That's the first one. And um, I got that back in in uh, 2009. Um, I guess you'd call it a crush injury, but only my foot was, only my ankle was broken. But anyways, it hit my cossacks really hard on the on the pavement. I'm not going to get in into like detail because I have a message. Within a a year six months rather, I started to become progressively disabled. Very tough to walk and it got to a point where um, where I couldn't walk for a long period of time. It's called adhesive arachnoiditis. So it means I have scar tissue in my spinal canal. The spinal nerves are all stuck together like a spider web of scar tissue and it's the most painful disorder that there is on there is. So certainly you've heard of CRPS, complex regional pain syndrome. This is more painful than that. But it's in the same type of category. I also have another pain disorder that is CRPS equivalent pain. It's not CRPS, but it's like that, but over my whole body. I'm just going to stop there. That's enough, right? That's why you see me going back and forth all the time. I'm having a good day today. Most of my misery, although you know I have autism, I have CPTSD, I have PTSD, I have other issues, right? Associated. There's a lot of stuff associated with autism. The the problems I usually face are the ones they're physical. My mental is better um, now, especially with Christ. That's the reason why I have confidence why I don't care what people think about me. I don't care what people think about me because, like Paul says, I don't even judge myself. So, you can call me whatever you want, you can say whatever you want, it's going to make no difference. Um, I recently pulled my, and I'm talking slow because I have a throat disorder, it's always like that. I face a lot of frustration in my life. Frustration, I, I, I'm willing to bet that probably none, no, no one who watches my videos understands to the, that point. Maybe I'm wrong, but I go through a lot of physical frustration. I don't want to make this all bad, but I have to talk about why. I pulled my back once, 
okay? A back strain. Those are no fun. So it'd be like grade two. There's three grades, and it would be the second grade. And uh, I tried to lift a, a rocking chair and a printer on top of it. I lifted it the wrong way, my back went. It took like five months to heal because I was still doing some stuff that was making it worse. I didn't really know what to do with it. It healed. Then I pulled it again. I'll just say the third time I pulled it again. But I, so I retore those things plus two other places. So like eight places in all. Have you ever had a strained back? Do you know what that's like? The worst part of a strained back, like if it's in the mid area and there's many back muscles, you feel like you're being crushed and it just won't stop for weeks, for months. Take the good when you can get it. And that's today for me. I had a really hard time yesterday. Why? Because the worst of the of the pull is my upper back, my my traps, the whole thing. Like I touch it, it's like it's like touching. It's like there's no skin on it, right? That's how bad it is. And it's going over my shoulders. It's going up. It's causing occipital neuralgia. I have that disorder. But if you have an an injury, it can go into that and cause it. So you. You know, it's like the lights are all bright. You know, your face is scrunched like this because your face hurts so much. It's brutal. You know, like you go to type, you can't even type. Very sharp pain going into your face, your neck, even your eyes sometimes. Pardon me one sec. Learn to give thanks even in those hard times. Even in those hard times. Yesterday was probably, you know, just about as bad as it gets as far as a pain, okay? So my pain disorders and superimposed on that is this, this back injury. So it's in one, two, it's in eight places. Eight places. I've healed most of the lower. It's starting to feel better in the mid, and today, so yesterday, it was in my face, it was up my neck, it's like there was just no escape. Can't think, can't have a good day, can't concentrate. Brutal is the name for that type of pain. Have you ever had trigeminal neuralgia or any facial pain disorders? They're very hard to take. So, unlike, you know, when I go to bed, I'm like, like I said, always give thanks even in that. You think of the story of Job, right? Because he believed. And in the past, if I wasn't if I wasn't born again, like this, I may have gone to to some bad thoughts. You know, what do I have to live for? That's the way I, I used to think, and um, with the uh, with the list of my disorders, it's no wonder. But so at the end of my night last night, I'm like, okay, well, you know, I'll go to bed, I'll lie down, maybe it will heal, you know, maybe I'll wake up and I'll be fine. It's like a crapshoot. Um, and so I go down, lie down in my bed. All of a sudden, another issue starts, and it's called. Um, Proctalgia, if you know what that is. Proctalgia fujax, F-U-G-A-X. And it's like a spasm of your you-know-what. I'm not embarrassed to say that. It is so painful. So just when you think it's all over, it's just beginning again. You think you're safe in your bed, and then all of a sudden, boom. It's like... Um, I can't even, it feels like someone's grabbing my cossacks, you know, the very lowest part of your spine, and trying to, trying to break it. So, I don't know, those attacks last maybe half hour. Even in that, say, give thanks, I can get through this with you. That's what I do. 
So I woke up today and, you know, when I wake up and I get out of my bed, I, you know, when I finally come to this counter, I take my meds and I, I assess myself, you know, with a, I assess myself every day. Um, but when you have a torn back, you're looking to see what's wrong. Okay, what's wrong? What do I have to do today? Do I have to go get ice? Should I go get some heat too? And, um, and it wasn't that bad. And the upper isn't really bothering me. Take the good. I think you understand what I'm saying. I don't know. This could come back. I hope not. And I pray not. You know, it says we'll have trials and tribulations. And this is, remember, um, Paul had an infirmity too, right? I don't know exactly what that was, but he had something wrong. It's good to, f to feel well, well enough that you can think. For me, it's pain that stops me from doing all uh, things. In, well, sorry, I don't let... Listen, even through those pains, I still go out and do things that a lot of people wouldn't. They would stop. They would go in. A, they would lie in their bed. What I'm saying is, it's stopping me from from doing a lot of things that I would want to do. No matter what it is, no matter what you're going through, you can walk through it with God. And I've walked through some very hard times. Um, I hope that helps you somehow. I don't know what else to say about this. When you feel good after a period of feeling really bad, give thanks. Use that time wisely. Anyways, guys, God bless. And there's a lot going on in the world, I'm sure you know. Lately, I've been... Um, I've... I've <laughs> Actually, I've been studying. That's what I've been doing. Uh, learning to become uh, an addictions counselor. So I'm learning the, the, the counseling styles, all the different counseling styles. And um, I lost what I was going to say. Use the time that you have wisely. That's all I have to say. Oh, the... Um, yeah, I, found my, I find myself... This is what my pain does too, right? to me and then I can forget it again that's just the way it is I find myself like say I come home um, doing my dishes then, you know I open up my computer and you know my YouTube is there I always have YouTube open you know I have a window open and I play Christian videos and you know a lot of people are talking about the stuff that's happening in the world and I just can't like, you know, I want to know the news, but I just want to drown it out. Whatever happens, happens. I don't want my life... My life is hard enough. If it comes to the point, if Christ comes back, then so be it, right? Anyways, guys, um, thanks for watching. God bless. This is more... This is more about uh, what I, I do with my pain. Um, and uh, learning to be uh, Christ-like by giving thanks anyways when you're in that type of situation. It, it also helps if you're going through a lot of pain, um, even a lot of psychological suffering, right? And with pain so comes psychological suffering. But it doesn't matter. I'm not just talking about pain. I'm also talking about psychological suffering. If you learn to give thanks, you become a more mature person. One of, one of our goals as Christians should be to be more mature, don't you think? God bless.